the Muslim vermin invading our country continue to show us that they have little respect for our nation's laws or the desire to assimilate after fleeing their third world countries. Whether it's scamming America through massive welfare fraud, mutilating little girls with their barbaric Sharia law practices, or working with terror organizations to bring us down, it's clear to see that these degenerates are determined to cling to the barbaric ways, despite their decision to live in a modernized civilization. Now there's a massive manhunt underway for three Muslim migrants who committed horrifying crimes against Americans, and police are desperate to locate these felons before they have the opportunity to harm anyone else. Despite Muslims' incessant efforts to take America down, they're constantly faced with the adversity of our elite intelligence and law enforcement agencies who aren't about to stand idly by while our country goes to crap. After a string of violent attacks were carried out on American citizens at the hands of Muslims over the past year, our law enforcement communities have done an incredible job apprehending these degenerates, where justice was scheduled to be handed down through our American courts. But now there's a startling new trend of Muslim criminals simply skipping bail and evading the law in order to avoid their punishment, after three separate cases involving Muslim fugitives are now coming to light. One of the fugitives' authorities are frantic to locate and capture is Muslim migrant Abdul Rahman Samir Nora, who fatally hit and killed 15-year-old American girl Fallon Smart in August of last year after driving his vehicle like a reckless maniac. To add insult to injury. Nora didn't stick around to see if the girl was okay, but fled the scene, leaving the teen in a bloody mangled pile to die on the pavement. Abdul Rahman was held for a while on $100,000 bail, but was able to post bail after his terrorist buddies over in Saudi Arabia learned about his plight and sent him money for bail. Ever since making bail, Nora has been a fugitive. After cutting and removing his ankle monitoring device and feeling his court ordered house arrest. On June 19, migrant Aisha Ibrahim became the latest Muslim criminal to skip bail after being charged with a sickening crime on a white woman in Georgia. You probably remember this clown making headlines last year, after beating the crap out of a mother and daughter with the pole of their American flag near Atlanta in Lawrenceville, Georgia. Ibrahim was charged with two counts of battery, as well as giving false information to police after lying about the crime. After the savage attack, Ibrahim was released after posting a $5,800 bond, but failed to appear at her arraignment in March, rescheduling it twice. The last time she missed her court appearance on June 19, the judge presiding over the case finally realized Ibrahim had fled, and has issued a warrant for her arrest. Damiano, the mother who was attacked alongside her young daughter, is livid that the Muslim was able to make bail in the first place, and believes political correctness came into play. As far as I know, they have not found her yet. The 43-year-old Lawrenceville mother who was assaulted by Ibrahim stated, We knew she was gone long before June 19. When given the opportunity to prosecute the woman who attacked myself and my children, I personally feel they were afraid of retribution from the Muslim community that is protected by law more than an American citizen, she said. They allowed my attacker to bond out of jail and failed to notify my family. They allowed her brother to stand in court and claimed she was in the hospital and never asked for proof. Then her lawyer was on leave of absence creating another delay. Now authorities believe that Ibrahim has likely fled the United States, or is being harbored by one of the many Somali enclaves inside America. The third Muslim authorities help the American public can help locate his 24-year-old Somali refugee Abdir Manor who was last seen living in Aberdeen, South Dakota. He too is wanted for a disgusting act of violence on an American, after he attempted to murder two men outside his apartment complex by shooting them with a gun, for reasons that defy all human logic nor was released on bond, where he has now jumped bail and remains a fugitive. State's attorney Chris White said last week that residents should be extremely vigilant and on high alert as Noor is more than likely armed and dangerous. Be sure to share this story and help bring these dirtbag criminals to justice. President Trump is doing everything in his power to keep our country safe, 
but we still have 3.3 million Muslims running rampant in this country who need to be taught a brutal lesson that their lawlessness and savagery will not be tolerated in our country.